Are you suffering from a floppy knob? Is your girlfriend starting to question your sexuality? Then it's time you got yourself a Beavis Motorsport 5-speed short shifter. Our short shifters are some of the best in the market. Not the crazy three or four hundred dollar kits you see around. They are a great value option at only around 110 Aussie dollars. So let me show you how to get it installed. First things first, we need to remove the gear knob. Then we can get to work on removing the centre console itself. There's two screws here, one screw under the ashtray and then two inside the uh, little cubby hole. Then you can simply lift the console up. With the console out of place, you need to remove this upper rubber boot. Uh, and they typically fail, as you can see this one has. There's a crack there. Um, so what you can do, you can cut, there's a white ring that goes around here. Just get your wire cutters and uh, cut the white ring. Undo the four 10 millimeter bolts and this thing will lift away. Uh, you can leave the console across to the side there with the cables still attached. You don't need to remove the uh, switches and the uh, illumination light for the ashtray. So we'll get this removed. With the upper rubber boot removed, we now have the shifter, the gearbox and the lower boot exposed. Uh, typically these lower boots also fail, this one has actually, you can see, it's completely free of the uh, rubber base. So we need to remove the three, again, 10 millimeter bolts and this will lift straight out. Now I should add, everything we remove from this point we do not need to keep. That includes these three bolts. the shifter itself which lifts completely away, this upper rubber boot, the bushing, uh, actually this shifter is also missing the uh, white ring that should run around here and there's also a white ring inside. If I, I'll focus. So this white ring inside we also need me. So we'll remove the shifter. Uh, on the later five speeds for the NBs there's this nugget here and there's also one on the other side thankfully this is an early NA without the two nuggets uh, which makes removing this white ring easy enough you just lift it out on the NBs you'll need to get a couple of screwdrivers and leave it out the side uh, with an NA you can pull it from the back and it lifts away so your kit comes with your shifter usually this is fully assembled with the uh, plastic spacer bushing thing. Note, I like to use uh, some Loctite uh, between the shifter and the ball end because these two are separate pieces. Um, I'll go into what this is for a little later on. Uh, you've got your large spacer, you've got your turret spacer, you've got a new uh, plastic ring bushing, you've got the upper cover, uh, your three bolts with some washers, and a nice big zip tie. I'll go into what that's for later as well. Let me show you how to assemble all of this before we go and put it in the actual car. So first thing you need to install is your turret spacer. Now if you've got an NA model you'll have one notch to line up with the single nugget here. If you've got the NB model you'll have two nuggets and two notches. So lower this in place and this will seat where the original plastic bushing go went. Uh, on top of this we then place the uh, plastic bushing we removed earlier with the wave washer and note the little cutout goes towards the back of the vehicle. On top of this goes the large spacer and note this is keyed to a certain direction. There's a nugget here that's closer to one end than it is to the other. The uh, 
that this little nugget goes towards the back of the vehicle and the lower end is got towards the bottom. And by putting this in place, it will sit nicely within the little cutout of the plastic bushing uh, and the three bolt holes will line up with the factory bolt holes. Uh, if you're like me, I like to use a little bit of RTV or silicon sealant around this face so that it seals nicely onto this edge here. With that in place, we can then install our new short shifter. And note the little cutout in the ball will line up with the nugget on our uh, large spacer. On top of our shifter will go the plastic bushing included with the kit. This will fit tightly over the top of the shifter ball like so. And then the last thing we need to do is bolt down the top cover. Now take note when installing the new bolts to uh, only hand tighten them, don't go and torque them down super tight. These just need to be snug and you don't want to damage your shifter or your, uh, more, more importantly, you don't want to damage the, uh, the gearbox. And with that tightened up, your short shifter is installed. You'll find it's very tight and notchy. However, that is of course by design. Throw is about 40% shorter than factory and, and there's hardly any play in the shifter now. A very tight and solid feel. At this point we can install our upper rubber boot. Uh, if yours is looking a bit like this you may want to consider replacing it. We've got them in our store at beavismotorsport.com which you can get when you buy your new shifter. Now remember I mentioned that zip tie earlier that's to replace the uh, white ring that used to live around your original. So if you don't need to replace your upper rubber boot, uh, you can reinstall the original and just zip tie around here to replace that original white ring. Uh, if you're having trouble with the rubber getting over the shifter, a little WD-40 works wonders here. And remember that plastic bushing I mentioned earlier, that is where your rubber ring should sit. So you can see it here, the rubber ring sits there and we can attach our uh, zip tie around that spot there like that. Upper boot done up, we'll install our zip tie. And snip that off. The console can now go back on. Now you may need to fight with your uh, window switch cables and things to get the console in place. Reinstall your gear knob. Tighten up the screws that hold the console in place, and you're all done. And that is the shifter install done. And I know what you're thinking, what about six speeds? Coming soon, keep an eye out. Uh, maybe in a week or two, we'll have a video and some info on how that one's installed. And that's it, that's how you properly install a Beavis Motorsport short shifter. If you'd be keen to grab one for yourself, or perhaps your boyfriend, check out beavismotorsport.com. And while you're there, why not grab some of the cool merch, a shirt, some stickers, uh, it really helps me out. Anyway, folks, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to check out our uh, Facebooks and Instagrams, and check out some of our other awesome YouTube content. This one here, that's something YouTube picked for you, and uh, this one, that's one I just uploaded the other day. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.